What's going on guys, it's Patrick here, and today guys, we are back with yet another top 5. Now, in this video guys, we're going to be going over the top 5 guns in Garad Krovi. So we're going to be looking at old guns that we've seen before in Black Ops 3, as well as some of the new additions to this map. So guys, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be great, but let's get into it. Now, coming in at our number 5 spot guys, this is going to be the Dracon. So, I think it's safe to say at this point that we already know the Dracon is an absolute beast of a gun. It's just, it's so good, it's so powerful, and honestly, since the start of Black Ops 3 Zombies, people have just been loving this gun. But with the release of Garag Krovi, this gun has become even better and more important, specifically for the Easter Egg. Now, obviously the Easter Egg is a growing sort of thing in the community. There's so many more people in Black Ops 3 versus Black Ops 2 that will watch Easter Egg videos and just see people do these. And obviously that means way more people are interested in the Easter Egg and want to actually complete it. So with that being said, you need a good gun for this Easter Egg. You can't just ignore this part of the game anymore. It's not like, oh, well, it's only if you want to do the Easter Egg. No, Black Ops 3 Zombies is very, very based around the Easter Egg with storyline and stuff. And really, it's just a game that you want to focus on the Easter Egg in some ways. And you need a good gun, obviously. The Dracon is a legend for the Easter Egg. So with the Manglers, you get a ton of them on some of the steps. This this lockdown here is one of them. And it just, it just wrecks everything. It just wrecks everything everything the dragon step or the dragon boss fight is another huge thing for the dracon it's just really really good because it's long range and it's powerful kind of like a ray gun kind of like a siege but honestly i would say better the dracon is just so useful for the easter egg if you're not using this gun on the easter egg if you're using like a ppsh or something get rid of it because the dracon is by far the best gun to use in the boss fight and honestly for most of the easter egg Coming in at our number four spot, guys, this is going to be the classic, it's always a great gun on every map, it's the Haymaker. So obviously at this point, we know the Haymaker is just an insanely good gun. And honestly, any map you get a Haymaker, you're going to be a little excited when you roll it from the box. But the Haymaker, again, is, is one of those guns that handles so well in some situations. It's not meant for everything, obviously, like it's terrible for the boss fight, but there's some things where it's super, super helpful. Like when you're running through spawn and you're completely surrounded by zombies or just anything like that, really close quarters areas, this shotgun absolutely shines. It's also great for the lockdown step with the manglers and the crystal. It's just a really, really good overall gun for close encounters, and that is why this gun shines. Not a lot of distance on it, obviously, but in the tightness of this map, like there's some very, very close quarters areas, this gun absolutely shines. It's a great gun to have. It's the Haymaker, of course it is good, and uh, it comes in at number four. Now, moving down to the number three spot on our list, guys, this is going to be the FFAR, and guys, this weapon is an absolute legend. Now, the FAMAS has already been in zombies. It was in Black Ops 1, and it was a pretty average gun. It was okay, but you know, you weren't getting super excited if you got a FAMAS. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. However, the FFAR, which is basically the exact same gun, has been ramped up, and it is legendary. This gun is extremely powerful, really, really good for headshots, and when you get this thing, you can just tell it is just an absolute beast. Now, what I really like this gun for is one of the steps for getting the Gauntlet of Siegfried requires you to get collateral kills, and this gun helps so, so much with that. Now, on top of that, it's obviously a really good long-ranged weapon for some parts of the Easter Egg, or just the more open areas of the map. If you're camping and you've got a long range of sight that you're trying to shoot down, this gun is going to be very, very good. It doesn't have the fastest rate of fire, but honestly, it is pretty pretty dang quick and uh, honestly guys the FFAR it's just it's just a legend it's just it's so good it comes in at number three now coming in at our number two spot guys this is going to be what is probably the most hyped gun in all of zombies and quite possibly the most overhyped gun in all of zombies guys it's the PPSH now when I say overhyped I, I'm saying this because I don't want to just sit here and just be an absolute fanboy like I, I know I've been a fanboy of the PPSH basically since World at War but I want to actually look at this gun and, and say why it's good 
based on statistics because at this point the community is, has just such a crazy boner for this gun i feel like people don't even understand why it's a good gun they just say oh ppsh is good because everyone else thinks the ppsh is good and it seems to be a pretty powerful gun but why is the ppsh actually a good gun like well what statistically makes it the number two gun on grog Crovy? so let's look at it well the ppsh is an SMG. So it's got the mobility of an SMG, which means you can run around really fast and you know, you're just going to be lighter. That is a super important thing on this map. It's such a close quarters map. The other thing is it's got the fire rate, which is really, really quick, a quick fire rate of an SMG. And the third thing is it's got the hip fire radius of an SMG. So if you're turning a corner, you run into a horde of zombies, you're like, oh snap, this is a really good gun for that. Maybe not as good as a shotgun like the Haymaker, but it's really good for that simply because you can just get so much so many bullets out so quickly and just kill everything the other reason this gun is so good is it's got the damage of what is basically an assault rifle like it's very very strong and it seems to be better long range than most smgs like this versus the hg40 just a lot better uh you know a vesper a vmp i would much rather this at a long range gunfight or gunfight what i'm saying multiplayer a long range shot now, the last thing that makes it so good is it's got the ammo capacity of an LMG. Most SMGs have, like, very, very limited ammo. But this thing is, like, no. We, we're just going to have all the ammo. Let's just go completely balls out, have, like, 900 bullets. It's ridiculous. So, basically, the reason the PPSH is so good, because, like I said, I just, I hate how there's just this, like, blind hype. And, I mean, I'm, I'm totally follow that forever but i just want to put the knowledge out there of why this is actually a good gun so we can actually understand why it's a good gun and uh yeah ppsh is obviously a great gun comes in at our number two spot it's just it's just a classic man and guys coming in at our number one spot it's going to be the ray gun mark three was there any doubt of what else it could be no the ray gun mark three is an absolute legend of a gun and i am so glad that they brought a new ray gun into this because the ray gun mark one i've made a video on why it sucks and it's just it's actually pretty good in garage crowvery but a lot of the black ops 3 zombies maps it's not that great mark 2 has a come back but now we actually have a mark 3 and i gotta say i'm really really happy with this gun because it's very versatile like so ridiculously versatile it's a very powerful weapon you can just shoot it uh with a singles blaster and it will wreck zombies it will wreck anything it, it, it's just very very good for that it will, it will wreck valkyries it will wreck manglers it will wreck zombies it will wreck everything but this gun really stands out when you use its combo which is you shoot the left side and then with your right blaster you shoot the little yellow ball that comes out and it turns into this giant gersh hole so it's a really interesting gun because it's kind of like a gersh maker but you have to kind of be skilled to use it and honestly it's just so so great because you get into any trouble you just shoot it and it's just a save me gun. It's just, it's just, a, it's a classic save me gun. An apothic and servant, a thunder gun. It's a very great save me gun that also has the ability to just kill zombies. Overall, Mark III is an absolute legend, and there is no doubt it is the number one gun on Garag Krovi. But anyways, guys, that is all I have for you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the top five guns to use on Garag Krovi. So different uses for different situations on this map, I think is the key thing you need to remember when you're trying to play this map, guys. Obviously, there are so many good guns in Black Ops 3 Zombies now. We could have thrown in the Dingo. We could have thrown in the KN, the HVK, the ICR, the Brecci. You know, so many guns. Even the normal Ray Gun is great for the Easter Egg fight. Even the NX Shadow Claws serves a great purpose. But I think those are your best five bets for this map, guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I end it, I do want to quickly just mention a giveaway that is going on with the channel and the Z House right now, actually. So basically, me and the rest of the guys in the Z House, Mr. T Lex Fight, MC Sports Hawk, Chucky, and Lonely Mailbox are running a giveaway for 10 PSN gift cards as well as one miniature Juggernaug perk machine that's going to be signed by all five of us. So if you guys are interested in that, you can follow the link down in the description and that will take you over to the Gleam giveaway where you're going to have 11 different actions you can do that will enter you in. So it's like follow me on Twitter, follow the Z House on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and anytime you do that through the Gleam thing down in the description, you'll be entered once. And there's like 11 different ways you could do it. So link in the description for that if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet please feel free to leave a like and guys i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching peace 
out, nerds. <laughs>